One of my favorite tools for model rocketry is just a wood dowel wrapped with sandpaper. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I want to show you one of my favorite tools that I've been using for a long time, and that's just a wood dowel that's been wrapped with sandpaper. Now these are really useful because you're dealing with tubes in rocketry, and all the time you're sanding out things, like you might have a centering ring and it has a little burr on the inside, and you can take this dowel and just simply sand out the inside to make it so it slides easily over the tube. So that's what these are for. This is an one I've made probably more than 10, maybe even 15 years ago, and the sandpaper is kind of wearing out. So I thought I'd make a new one and show you how to do it. Obviously, you're going to need a dowel, and I like to get a long dowel because dowels are also useful in rocketry for pushing things out. Say you got a long rocket and you got a motor down in the bottom and you got to push it out because it's kind of swelled up a little bit and it's kind of stuck. So you can take that dowel and push it out. But at the same time, you can also use that same dowel for the sandpaper and, and for sanding. So that's kind of why I like to start with a long dowel and we'll cut it to length. What I want to do is to put two grits of sandpaper on here. So I got a fine grit and a rough grit. So that way I can use it for different tasks. So my first thing to do is I need to take a piece of sandpaper. This is about a 150. I maybe go, you know, something a little finer, but this will work for me. And I just want to wrap it around and find out where to cut it. And you always want to cut on the back side. So I'm wrapping it around. If it overlaps, it's okay. It's really not bad because when you sand, you're only sanding on one surface, not around the whole thing. So I'm going to say that I'm going to cut right there. And you notice that the sandpaper has these lines on it. And that's so that when you put your ruler on it to cut it, you know, you can make a nice parallel edge just by lining things up. And that's where I'm going to cut. And I'm going to cut on the back side. And this is going to dull your knife. So, you know, if you want, might want to start out with a dull knife. <laughs> Again, I want to check it now, see how good I did. I can always cut a new piece if it's too long or if it's too short. And this one is just a hair long. So I think I might just trim it just a little bit. Okay, so there's my sandpaper. I might want to mark this one at the same time. All right, now I'm going to take a piece of plastic and put this on my table because we're going to put glue on this and that glue is going to get everywhere and I'm going to use the extra thick super glue. So what I'm going to do is to apply this on here and hopefully it's not clogged. It's not clogged. And particularly you want to get close to those edges. I'm also using happy hands on my hands. This is a paste, it's a wax, and it just keeps the super glue from sticking to your fingers. So I've already gone and done that. It doesn't take much. What I wanna do is get this so it hangs over the edge. And what I might do is I'm gonna take the Instaset, which is the accelerator, and I'm gonna spray my wood dowel so that when I wrap it around, it sets up fast. And that's working really good. And that turned out really well. So again, keep rolling it, trying to flatten out that edge as much as you can. So there's my edge, and that looks really good. All right, that was one. So now I'm gonna do the other one. I'll do it like right there. Now this is the really rough one. I'm gonna spray this first. I'm trying to keep it off of this. <laughs> now we'll put glue on this. Okay, stick it a little bit, but that's okay. I want to really push down that edge, get it sticking really good. I can feel my fingers sticking a little bit, but with the happy hands, I'm not worried about it. And I'm trying to push down so that there's no areas where the sandpaper is not laminated to the wood. That one looks really good too. I like it. Now, so you can see now this one right here, I can feel it a little bit where it's not conforming perfectly. I can feel, you know, you can feel it. It feels soft in one area. It's okay. 
And what's going to happen is that the uh, the grit is going to fluff off a little bit, you know, kind of like this. It's not everywhere, so you can still use it. It's just not as perfect as we like. That's okay. And so now at this point, I'm going to trim off the end. For that, I'm just going to use a razor saw. Just like that. And there I have my new dowel that's wrapped with sandpaper. I got a, 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 you know, a fine grit here and a rough grit here. You can do different sizes. I like also a big size like this. This is like a one inch dowel. This is almost a half inch. I'm not sure, quite sure if it's a half inch or not. So those are the kinds of things that I like to do. And you can do smaller ones as well. For little tiny centering rings, this one will fit an 18 to a 24. And this is a 13 millimeter on the inside to an 18 millimeter. So that size works really well. All right, so that's how to make this special tool that costs hardly anything. You're going to find it is very useful in your model rocketry career. My name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light and may the skies be blue and may all your rockets fly straight and true.